Hey there, Polish models, and welcome back. So today we are going to be watching Arcane season two, episode seven, and this next episode is called "Pretend Like It's the First Time," and we're officially at the end game. Now we are starting the final act ever of this show. I'm so sad it's going to end, but also a little happy that it's gonna probably go out on a very high note. And I'm excited to see how this is all going to go and how it's all going to end. Like I have no idea what to expect because I don't want to expect anything anymore. Honestly, that last episode broke me. I just can't believe what they've done to Isha. I just... It's truly so awful. Every time I thought about it and while I was editing, I was just crying. Like, that was so, so sad. And I have no idea what this is going to do to Jinx. Plus, Vendor possibly also dying. People were in the comments saying, like, oh, I don't think Vendor is dead. And, like, I don't know, maybe not. I guess it would have been weird to kill him off that quickly after they brought him back. But I just, like, if he's not dead then Isha's death meant nothing and I don't know if I can live with that. Like, I would hate for Wender to be dead, especially after their family reunited and it was so cute and beautiful and I would love to see more of Wender. But if he isn't dead, then Isha didn't have to do any of that. Now she's just dead for no reason and the Jinx is gonna go crazier than she already is. Like, she was finally on the way to redemption and to happiness and why do the writers hate her? Why can't she just be happy? Why did they have to take away the one good thing she had? It's so messed up. It's so messed up. So yeah, I have no idea how these last three episodes are gonna go. I mean, can we get sadder than that? I don't know. Like, can we actually make it worse than what it is right now? I have no idea. But I'm sure the writers will find a way. <laughs> they will find a way to break my heart yet again. But yeah, I think that was enough stalling. I think we should get into this episode and see who's dead and who's alive. Maybe some sort of miracle happened between these two episodes and no one died. You know, like one can hope, one can live in denial. It's the best place in the world. Like, trust me, it's my favorite spot to be. So yeah, I'm gonna start this episode. Everybody's gonna be alive. Everybody's gonna be happy and together and the family. And there will be nothing left for us to do but to hug it all out. So let's get into it. Whoa, they changed that. It used to be Vi and Jinx. Now it's Echo and Jinx? What does that mean? <laughs> Oh my god, Echo! Oh my god! What what was this? I'm so confused. Okay, that's him. Is he like in a parallel universe? You're beyond help. Whoa, relax, jumpy. I've got a new idea. What is this? Oh my god, what is this? Uh, did you just throw that? Stay, stay back! Oh my god! Alternate timeline Jinx is so nice! What in the seven sumps is all this racket? So You know those ugly twins. Genius and madness. Maybe take them. This is insane! So there are multiple dimensions. So this is what they've been going through? Is this what Jace saw as well? Oh my god, okay, yeah. Let's head into the intro, that's fine. So like, Jay saw a different timeline and that's why he went so crazy. Like maybe he saw what could happen if Victor got too much power or something. And that's what he was trying to prevent in our universe. I have no idea, but this is blowing my mind. Oh my God, look at this other universe. Of course, they can let Jinx be happy in other universes, it's just not ours. I see how it is. Messed up, man, messed up. This is so sad. Like, imagine coming back to our stinky universe after living through this. Oh, I'd be pissed. I wonder what's different here. Like, which event went so differently here that led to this? I'm not talking to myself over here. What is up with you? Right, yeah. Jinx would never do that. I feel like I woke up in the wrong universe. This is what I'm a bit, yeah, but I like this one. Can we stay here forever? I've got you. <gasps> oh no, oh no. Don't my liege, 
I don't want this whole life here. Where's Y? What has she been up to? Where would you be without her? We know. <laughs> We've seen. The old man's gonna let us play the party the night before that innovators competition you all are gunning for. What would they do without you? There would probably be some arm flailing. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I'm fine. This is great. You think I'm holding myself back? I think. You could be a great murderer if you tried and applied yourself. Oh, Heimendinger? Is he our Heimendinger? <coughs> okay, didn't need to see that. I wonder if this is like across the Spider-Verse thing where his body is gonna start breaking down the longer he stays here. How long have you been here? 1,128 days, six hours, Oh and... my god, I thought he was gonna say years. <laughs> So, so you've just been waiting for me all this time? Precisely. Or rather, Aww. imprecisely. I grew skeptical you'd arrive, even during my unusually long lifetime. What about Jace? That's so interesting. Yeah, exactly. Where's Jace? I fear he may have wound up elsewhere. The anomaly behaved differently around him. Ah, oh, that's so interesting. So maybe he went to a worse universe. I'm afraid Hextech was never invented here, and without a creation so prodigious as the Hex Gates. So they could just stay here? I mean, why would you want to go back, to be honest? I have people back home who need me. We don't belong here. Oh, you're too nice, Echo. We can't leave. I'm gonna find a way back with or without you. Uh, oh. He's such a nice guy. Gotta be honest, I feel like I would be selfish enough to just stay in this nice little world, even though I know that I would have killed that version of me, right? I'd be like, um, yeah, it sucks to be her, but I'm gonna stay and just chill here. I was gonna go see Vi. Vi? You wanna come? Yes, please. Where is she? What is she up to? Is there anyone out there? Doesn't seem like it. Yeah, he definitely ended up in a really bad universe. I wonder if it's because he was holding something hextech related when this happened to him. Oh, I'm sorry, is that Victor? Did you bring me here? Where are we? Oh, is that the guy who saved him? Or like a version of him back in like season one, episode two, when he was a little kid? Oh my god. Jesus Christ, what the hell happened here? I can't be. Is that Piltover? It's all gone. Huh, wonder what happened. Was it Hextech? Sorry, sis. Someone's waking out over his project and having an identity crisis again. Is she dead? Oh, that's so fucked up. What happened to her? Just because you're having a bad day. Oh, that's why she has a little pink in her hair to remember why. You gave us the tip. We went on that job because of you. The job? That's why there's no Hextech here. You should leave. Whoa, what? What? That's what's different here? Vi died during the pilot? I really am enjoying this. Like, it's so interesting to see how, like, one little thing could have changed our lives this drastically. <gasps> oh, nice. I still don't understand, though, how that would make it so that there's no more hate between Piltover and the Undercity. Lands. Join in the circus. So they really are on very different journeys. Did you this Jace die too? Let me both Jace and Vi died in this explosion. Ah, no more. It just began. So why would you show me something like that? March on, oh, my friend. cool. We found Hextech. Hopefully him creating it will not screw up this world too. Jesus Christ. Oh my god, these things are alive? Plot twist. Oh my god, that is so creepy. Oh no, 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 no. I do not like this. Why are they still alive? And what are they? Oh, his poor little lag. Oh my god. I'm really starting to get his anger when he came back. That man has been through a lot. A good to do it. I. Okay, I think that got infected, but I don't know by what. Oh. Oh, everything is like corroding or something because he's in this world. It corrupts. 
consumes. I was trying to create magic. It's your time, Jace. Perhaps it's time. No. No. Dude, this is insane. I had this dream. Where things went another way. Oh, she looks so fun. badass. She was. She is. She was the toughest person in all of Zon. Nothing scared her. No, not my sister. I was strong because she was afraid. Well, her fear of losing us is what made her fight so hard. You were different in my dream, too. Is that what this is about? You want me to change? No. God, no. <laughs> we love you like this powder, I think. Oh, she's holding the little thing. The little thing that ended up killing Vander, Milo, Clagger, Clogger, whatever the kid's name is. Right. I see the parallels. <laughs> Yay, they did it! I'm sure nothing bad will happen. So, what does it do? You just asked me that. Whoa, that was interesting. No, I didn't. That's so weird. It's a time loop. Huh? A time loop? Huh? A, time a time loop. Hmm. Okay, Here. how's that helping us? Four. Oh, oh my god! Oh. Hi, Bellinger. Is he okay? Did we undo that? What happened? The limit is four seconds. Are you certain, my boy? What were the indicators? <laughs> Your body breaking apart. You've always meant the world to me, Benzo. Oh. At least he gets to say goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> you know, don't get all mushy on me now. <laughs> I... Oh, sweeties. I get a big man misty, are you? Ah, these damned allergies. I have the feeling that you'll be running this place soon. So, there's a chance for us yet. <laughs> you didn't think I'd miss your big day. Oh, thank you so much for coming and supporting us. Didn't you try to kill him? The greatest thing we can do in life is find the power to forgive. Oh, powder! I love you. Does Echo have feelings for her? Where'd you learn those moves? I was just following your lead. Mm. He's got lines. They're so in love. I used to dream the Undercity could be like this, but somewhere I got consumed by all the ways it wasn't. So maybe him seeing this could help him try and achieve that in our world. I've never seen you give up on anything, Echo. Wait, is he gonna be the one who actually gets to reach Jinx? I promise I'll never forget this. You better not. Oh, cause they're about to kiss. Sorry, I, No, it's, I, uh, No, I mean, actually that's nice. Cause this Echo would not know that this happened. Can we just pretend like it's the first time? Oh wait, so they've been a couple this whole time? My bad. <laughs> How is this gonna make me cry? <laughs> I'm sorry, they're just having like such a cute time and then Jace is having the worst day of his life. Worth months of his life, to be more exact. It's kind of funny. That's so pretty. <gasps> oh no. Oh, are they leaving? Is that him? Like, Jace, I mean? This is where it all started, isn't it? The end of Piltover. Because of Hextech. Oh, okay, so I think that's Jace and Victor? Maybe? Why did you ever give me this? Why? Oh, right, it's the other guy. It doesn't have to go this way, right? I don't know, man. I do wish I could apologize to Miss Powder for co-opting her space like this. It truly was the only way. Oh, they called her Powder. Send me back. What? I... Oh, yeah, the eyes of that thing are moving. Never a dull moment. I must say that since I've met you, lad, I've truly lived. What? Oh, thank you. Back in a week. No! Everything. What? Why did you jump out? I won't. Is he gonna die? I won't fail. I swear it. Okay, cool. No! I'm a thinker. 
I mean, I know he's dead, but like, no, he's not. Okay. That's our echo. Powder? Yeah, what's up? What happened? Oh, kids, so much. I can't believe Hyman didn't sacrifice himself. Oh my gosh, she still had that. That's so crazy. Man, not me catching the same allergies Benzo has. I would love to get through an episode without crying. I really love this episode. This was so good. It's also just so interesting that we only have two more left of the entire show. And we had one of them be like completely off. Or like out of our dimension. Like how interesting that they really just went for it. And I personally loved it so much like this was so good and heartbreaking not just because you know Heimerdinger ceased to fucking exist is he dead or was he just able to poof into another dimension as well or did he just sacrifice himself for Echo awesome but yeah this episode wasn't just sad because of that like the entire concept you know like what could have been it could have been so good except for vibing that like that's a messed up part of this new world but it's so good to see and i really am so curious to see how this will shape echo i feel like us spending an entire episode with this concept means that this will give echo an insight and like a new idea a new way to go about things like i do think he as he said that he was also caught up in like this cycle of like violence and revenge and just hatred because everything was so bad like he couldn't even picture things being good anymore or what it could be like for Piltover and Zon to just fix their issues but now he's seen what could be and I'm really excited to see how he will change with this information like will he come back now with an actual plan of how they could fix things instead of just like surviving that could be so interesting and like him having met powder he also knows what jinx could have been right like if things were different jinx didn't have to turn out to be a psycho right like she could have been a very nice smart young woman and now Echo sees that so maybe he will have more compassion for her more forgiveness for all the horrible things Jinx has done like maybe he could be her savior or something like that could be so interesting to see and yeah I'm really excited what they're gonna do with this like this new Echo and like how come he got back later than Jace I mean I guess the things that happened to Jace and Echo didn't necessarily have to be happening at the same time. I guess they just edited it that way because it looks cooler. But, you know, I'm just like, oh, it feels like they should have arrived at the same time. But probably Jace did his thing a little earlier than Echo, which is why he arrived sooner. But I'm glad that we got to catch up with Echo and Heimerdinger and like Jace and like what happened to them. It's so cool. It definitely makes it more understandable why Jace was the way he was in the previous episodes. Like you gotta understand it, right? Like it's messed up that he killed Victor. Like that was so messed up. But like seeing the world like that, living in it for I don't know, months, male viewers of mine, help me out. How long does it take to grow a beard like that? Is it months, weeks, years? I have no idea. But it totally makes sense for Jace to just be so anti-Hextech now. I felt maybe he was being controlled because we kept seeing his wrist and like where one of the Hextech thingies like embedded itself in him. So I was like, oh, maybe he is being controlled, but actually he's doing all of this because of the experience he's had. And it makes so much sense why he's doing it. But I also wonder if him doing this is what will actually lead to Piltover being destroyed like that, right? Because we have no idea what happened. Like, we're assuming it's because of Hextech. But, like, how? You know? Like, who did it? Why did they do it? How did that end up happening? Was it also, like, someone trying to destroy Hextech? Is why that happened? You know, that could be, like, a very interesting thing where, like, Jace is doing all of this to prevent what happened in that other dimension to happen to theirs. But then his attempts 
are what might end up leading to that because you can't actually destroy Hextech or if you try, that's exactly what happens. Like it gets overtaken, everything gets overtaken by the arcane or something along those lines. Could be so interesting. So yeah, I'm very excited to see what's gonna happen next. <laughs> and like, it's the penultimate episode, right? Like, oh my God, what are they gonna do? Who are they gonna kill? Stop killing people, please. I'm begging you, I don't wanna do that anymore. But yeah, this was awesome. I love this episode so much and I really hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Thank you so much for watching and as always, a huge, huge shout goes out to all my Patreons for supporting me. Thank you guys so much, you guys are the best. I really appreciate every single one of you. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like, leave a comment down below and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. I tried so hard and all these scars, they cut so deep I bleed. I fell so fast from heaven, it's like someone clear.